the school. My name is Mark Alcor, I'm acting head this year. Uh, I have to say, thoroughly enjoyed myself up until this point, but uh, we'll see in the next hour and a half how things progress. So, without further ado, I shall introduce the candidates, um, each of whom I'm sure to many of you need no introduction, but uh, as is the, the protocol of this event, I will certainly introduce you. Over here we have Dorothy Thornhill. Dorothy taught for 25 years in Hertfordshire schools, ending as assistant head at Queen's School. In 2012, she received an MBE for her services to local government. And uh, after being a local councillor for 10 years in Watford, she was elected mayor and she has been there for the last 12 years. She's also, I believe, deputy leader of the local government association and has pushed for the Croxley Rail Link and Health Campus. Dorothy Thornhill. On my left, Aidan Cockrell Boyce. Aidan studied theology at Bristol University, has taught for several years whilst working towards his master's, which he's achieved, and he's now in his second year of a doctorate while still teaching part time. I am in awe of this man already. He's committed to making public transport in Watford viable for shoppers and commuters to get them out of their cars. Here, here to that. Okay, on my right is Richard Harrington. <laughs> so well known to many of you. Um, he was elected MP for Watford in May of 2010. And he's uh, been a member of the International Development Select Committee, General Secretary of the All Party Kashmir Group, and Vice Chair of the All Party Film Group as well. And in 2013, he played a significant role in getting a law passed criminalising unlawful subletting of social housing. Um, he's also in a previous life worked for Truitt and supports Watford and Chelsea FC. <laughs> and also on my right hand side we have Nick Lincoln uh, representing UKIP. Now Nick lives in Watford, works in Radlett and runs his own business I understand. Nick prides himself on never holding elected office. And he describes himself as a small government, libertarian kind of guy. Um, he wants to get um, out of people's way and encourage them who want to make, want to better themselves and stay on the right side of the law. Nick Lincoln. Last but certainly not least, Matt Tomei, uh, here on my left hand side. Matt is councillor in Holywell Ward and sits on the Budget Panel, Licensing and Members Development Boards. Matt's work in media, working on digital production, communications and supply chain management for companies including the BBC Worldwide. What we need, says Matt, is a Labour government committed to ensuring that jobs, housing and sensible financial management are at the core of how we run the country. Matt Simone. 